ठीक है थैंक यू मैम मैम प्लीज थैंक यू आर्टमैन इज इट रेडी आई एम स्टार्टिंग यस मैम यस मैम प्लीज गो अवे a very happy and healthy morning to one and all present here i take immense pride and welcome you all for the fourth day session of the international e workshop uh, on behalf of the organizing team i would like to apologize for the technical glitches yesterday however we tried hard due to poor connectivity the issues arise yesterday and uh, i assure you all that this will never happen again in the next session and we have taken corrective measures for the same i'm sure you will all have informative and thought provoking sessions without any technical issues from now onwards we have taken all efforts by putting our heart and soul to rope in such stalwarts as resource persons to enlighten the teaching fraternity and ignite the research among the budding scholars we assure you that all will enjoy uh, the forthcoming sessions do stay with us and support us thank you and uh, respected uh, dignitaries and uh, dear participants it gives me great pleasure to have the opportunity to introduce the speaker of this session dr g baskaran dean and professor of english gandhigram rural university gandhigram my acquaintance with uh, professor baskaran whom i fondly call anna is more than a decade we both were uh, very fortunate to have gained our uh, research degree under the mentorship of late professor m a jayraju from gandhigram university who is an erudite scholar i still remember the day when baskaranana took me to meet our professor at his residence in virudhunagar when i had been to virudhunagar as a participant for a seminar conducted by professor baskaran it was there our professor Uh, Dr. M. J. Raju told Baskar and Anna, uh, Priya has just started her career, Baskar, and she is very innocent. Please take care of her as your younger sister, youngest sister. He said. Anna just nodded his head and said he would do that. And from that day onwards, he still holds my hand and earnestly wants me to scale heights. And I always say that what I am today is because of my professor M. J. and after him it's none other than baskarana i have been very fortunate to get his affection as a sister and i owe my gratitude to him for staying with me in all my highs and lows and i take this opportunity to thank you anna for that and do we need anything else to say about professor baskarana than a great human being who helps everyone uh, in all their academic endeavors i'm sure many of you who are here would accept it and would have felt the same as me but still it's my bound duty to introduce professor baskaran to uh, to all of you here uh, he is currently a member syndicate of alagappa university karikudi he was the former dean former member board of management uh, 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 planning board member monitoring board of school of english and foreign languages at gandhigram rural institute gandhigram he has uh, more than 30 years of teaching and research experience on his hands and is an extremely well known and respected scholar of indian writing in english and gender women studies etc let me furnish you some of his accomplishments uh, professor has guided successfully over 70 amphil scholars and uh, more than 50 phd scholars he has published over 53 research articles in various national and international journals he had organized eight academic events and participated in numerous others he has delivered more than 90 invited talks all over the country and his projects have been funded by the ugc and he has received two significant awards to date in addition to these achievements he has undertaken the responsibility such as member syndicate of alagappa university karikudi member senator of alagappa university karikudi a uh, convener of the school of sanitation at gandhigram rural institute and he takes care of the publication division of uh, gandhigram university and he, he has always been the convener of the con convocation committee of uh, gandhigram university and a member secretary of magazine committee of gandhigram university but above all else he is a warm and kind mentor and a great teacher 
with a real flair for literature and a genuine passion for his work, a chosen field of expertise. Uh, I know that these qualities, coupled with his years of experience and unique scholarly abilities, will make him a great presenter at the stock. I encourage all of you to pay key, keen attention to his words so that you may reap the same benefits from, from his instructions as I have. Thank you all. And I welcome uh, Dr. G. Bhaskaran uh, to deliver his lecture on gender and women in Indian writing and English, the gathering. Something short? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. Excellent morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Pleasure coming on going to MBN and family. And uh, at this juncture, my sincere uh, gratitude to the Secretary of uh, Manatrunga Naikar College, Mr. Vijay Ravananna. Right, more than uh, two and a half decades of, you know, my connections, relations, you know, with uh, MTN family. And uh, nearly 17 years now, my relationship, you know, with uh, the secretary of the college, Manatrimala Niagar College. So I learn still, and I am learning, you know, that is, even now, you know, from him. So very calm and then uh, very uh, magnanimous enough, you know, to support, you know, humanity. And a bit humanism, you know, that I have taken, you know, maybe, you know, without, uh, I mean, with his own uh, permission. I'm growing, you know, still. So I thank uh, the secretary of uh, MTN College for giving, you know, a nice opportunity on so many academic uh, events and this too, you know, that is the first time, you know, that I am doing something, you know, for this college over webinar. A host institutions, you know, that are uh, to be recognized. A university, you know, coming to a college uh, structure and University of Madras, Mother Teresa University, and uh, Society, you know, for uh, Literature and Culture. So all these uh, forum, you know, the, should be, you know, that uh, acknowledged and recognized. And I thank, you know, them, you know, equally, because uh, they actually, you know, make it, you know, this uh, webinar, you know, a great success. I thank, you know, my beloved brothers, both Professor Armstrong, of uh, University of Madras. I also thank my another brother, Professor T. Marx, Pondicherry University, Professor of English. I thank my sister at this uh, juncture, Professor Jaipriya. And I also thank, you know, my Tambu, Ramasubhu, for making, you know, this, you know, uh, event, a successful event. 500 and odd uh, participants and taking part, you know, very, very seriously maybe, you know, one hour or one and a half hours, you know, like, and making, you know, this, you know, move, you know, further. And uh, all, all these uh, participants you know, are benefited directly and uh, they take, you know, this uh, components, you know, to the others, you know, indirectly. So I acknowledge that presence. I, I actually, you know, thank them, you know, for making it, you know, possible and this event, you know, a great successful one. So uh, both, you know, Armstrong and uh, Marx, you know, that. A, a, a slight diversion, you know, maybe two seconds or three seconds, you know, I take minutes. So both of uh, the writings, you know, that I enjoyed reading. There it's by Bash Lodge, you know, there at Trichy. I met him first. So maybe, you know, three decades back as a young scholar, right? Still, I remember. I got into the room and then just knocked. I mean, the window there, you know, inside and got up and then uh, first introduced, you know, before I started, you know, he actually, you know, started. So, Kadresan uh, might have sent you, if I'm right, you know, you are uh, Bhaskaran. Yes. By then, I was, my connections, you know, there are, you know, something with St. Joseph's. I did my MPhil there. I used to go there, you know, frequently whenever I land, and then later on, you know, I came, you know, the son-in-law of the soil. My wife, you know, belongs to that space. So, that is actually the relationship, you know, with him I started, and still now, you know, that wherever I go, I used to 
mention his name as Ami. And uh, we are growing, you know, that is, together. And Marx, he belongs to, you know, my own space, you know, Trunal Valley. Very near to that, you know, that whenever I pass that space, you know, that I used to, if not, you know, his name, at least, you know, his father, you know, comes to my mind. Lawyer Tangaraj. I still remember, right? I visited only once, you know, with Professor Ravindranath and mentor, my mentor. Yes. I visited, you know, that space, you know, and I enjoyed, you know, his uh, humanity as well as, you know, Marxist thinking and Marx. So this is the way, you know, that I connected, connected, you know, myself with uh, young people and I'm growing young. So that is actually, you know, something, you know, that I should uh, share and uh, thanks for, you know, everyone behind the scene. Now I'm getting into my topic today. So I actually, you know, that uh, thought of, you know, doing something, you know, on uh, ELT. But uh, my cup of tea, you know, is uh, Indian writing in English. And uh, women, okay. And uh, the theme, you know, of uh, this webinar, everything, you know, that came to my mind. And I coined, you know, this one, you know, right? The title today is uh, Gender and Women in Indian Writing in English. Few lines, you know, that from a poem that will certainly, you know, make you think, you know, how that uh, this uh, topic, you know, came to my mind. Gender and women. People have given you rosy flower, painted frogs, to save their prestige and hold their control on you. See, this is the way, you know, that uh, people are coming now. Many, many, many. Not, you know, one or two countable numbers, no. Uncountable, right. That you on uh, one condition. Learn only that these people would teach. Speak what they want use you to speak. Only those is the right choice, not what you like. You may exist. If, then, if, then. Only then you shall get the promise of safety. See that, you know, how lines, you know, are composed. These lines. Within the Lakshman Rek are drawn by them. With the sound of the clock kept by them. And by their uh, winding up, you have to leave. Famous lines. These lines, you know, make you think. I'm not, you know, asking you children or you scholars or you teachers, you know, to interpret. But the message, you know, is something very, very serious, you know, even in the present day context. Though we have, uh, I mean, uh, across six decades, six and a half decades, you know, like, you know, after our uh, freedom. And the question, you know, comes to your mind is, you know, are we free? I am, I'm exclusively you know, talking, you know, women, right? And there comes, I mean, there, there comes, you know, a major difference uh, what and how, you know, uh, they were taught. Instructed ones. And uh, they choose, you know, their needs today. So between these two things, you know, that uh, there is, there is, uh, there are, there are enough spaces for discussion. Maybe, you know, I may not be able to cover all those things. Few, few things, you know, from few stories, few narratives, I, I, I take, you know, for discussion today, right? We, we take, you know, that uh, they were educated. We, we, we need not worry about, you know, that they were educated more. So this they, you know, refer to the title people, right? So they, they were instructed, they were educated. You think? And people interpret like, right? Uh, the other, other, you know, they think, you know, that uh, they were given, you know, education more. Doesn't mean, you know, the other uh, uh, do not need, you know, more. More, you know, education. They weren't, you know, educated because they are male. Even now, you know, there are mothers of sacrifice. 
and our writers, our writers narrate incidents of truth. There are mothers of sacrifice, right? At the same time, you know, they, they also talk about, you know, the liberal thinking. So another quote, you know, by Samuel, you know, right? I, I, that, that actually, you know, comes close to my discussion. If she is a writer of fiction, and you presume to take uh, the liberty of criticizing her works, refrain from urging that certain incidents are improbable and certain characters unnatural, right? If someone raised, you know, the voice, and uh, claim the rights. The, how you view them, you know, that uh, they belong to unnatural category. Who are unnatural? Either you, the spokesman, or the characters, you know, who appear real there in the narrations. The, our views, you know, that uh, you are, you are actually, you know, I mean, making your views available there. Not that, you know, you take, you know, the characters, you know, real characters, live characters, you know, right? See, that's why certain incidents are, are becoming, you know, improbable and certain characters, you know, appear unnatural, right? This uh, improbable and uh, unnatural are uh, of your own. Of this, it is impossible for you to judge unless you could have lived the very same life that she has. So this is also applicable to the Dalit components, you know, right? So often my brothers, you know, that they, uh, they tell me, you know, right? Repeatedly, you know, they tell me. And now unless, you know, you experience, you may not be able to tell, you know, the correct, the right perception. Same thing, you know, here also. So it is impossible for you to judge unless you could have lived, you know, the very same life that she has. Known exactly the same people and inhabited with the, the same places. So this is actually, you know, a quotation by Samuels. And uh, connecting, you know, this, so I traveled back, you know, to 1967 when I was uh, a student, you know, there in a school in a village, very near to Trinalville, the village, you know, that I hailed from. See, it was a thatched roof and uh, only, you know, till uh, four standard, you know, uh, we were taught. And there is yet another uh, school, you know, nearby, you know, from uh, where, you know, the people, I mean, children coming to learn, you know, from fifth standard to eighth standard. That's all. No high school then, you know, available day in my village. Not that it is a remote village, but okay, you know, that it is... Uh, a smaller one, right? And 1967, you know, that was uh, my entry into the school. Not that I was uh, given placement, but I accompanied my sister and got uh, my entry. There was no registration as such, you know, then. So I accompanied my sister and uh, my sister daily, you know, taken me, you know, to that school. So we were 14 children, you know, like, and out of which 14, you know, two or uh, two were uh, girl children. Only male teachers. I haven't seen, you know, then the female uh, teachers. Two teachers teaching, you know, classes for all subjects. And one teacher had 11 children. Six of them, you know, were girl children. I remember... Uh, one of his daughters was on my age and she was not in our class or she didn't attend schooling at all. And uh, I quit, you know, that I, I left, you know, that village uh, after four standard and I came to Thirumangalam, very near to Madurai, right? Where I am living now. So what happened to those two girls, you know, who were in my class? No idea. Are they employed or actually, you know, are they placed somewhere? No. We, we do not have, you know, answer for, you know, that uh, such question. That was actually uh, five decades, you know, back. 
now we are seriously looking into you know these two components you know that is women you know first and uh, gender right so until the 1960s right until the 1960s the term gender was often used to refer to masculine and feminine words and in order to explain why some people i mean felt that uh, they were trapped in the wrong bodies maybe i quote you know that uh, robert uh, stroiler you know the psychologist began using the terms you know sex to pick out uh, biological traits and gender to pick out the amount of femininity and masculinity a person exhibits so after that in the later years feminists you know came and uh, they used the term you know to distinguish biological differences from social and psychological ones okay you 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 know that you know that theory is you know right upon reading you know the theoretical corpus so gender theory developed in the academy you know during 1970s and 80s as a set of ideas guiding historical and other scholarship in the west and if you ask the question you know when here when in our space maybe after you know two decades one and a half decades you know like so from there you know that uh, it's a, a slight movement in you know, our right the, the 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 perception you know that uh, slowly uh, change essentially this theory proposed looking at the masculinity and femininity as sets of mutually created characteristics shaping the lives of men and women so i am i am just reminded of uh, margaret mead american cultural anthropologist okay to describe many variation in men's and uh, women's uh, tasks and sexual roles in your best selling strategy that is coming of age in samana that was published in the year 1928 which actually you know uh, gives you know a opening you know for discussions on fixed behaviors of you know men and women and to see stereotypes you know contingent rather than determined by nature you understand slightly you know that uh, something you know is actually you know that uh, structure you know, right? developed you you go back you know what i told you know that uh, the other actually you know looked into unnatural or improper you know right so what is actually natural and what is uh, not one you know not natural right? So you 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 find you know that people are you know structuring you know something right. So one is not born and one is made you know a woman. So this is why Simandi Bo in uh, Second Sex, nineteen forty nine you know right. So one is not born and one is made you know a woman. See, the theoreticians you know right they are actually you know Cassius very very. Very very serious, you know, right? You're giving, you know, every time, you know, that idea, right? So Judith Butler, you know, gender behavior is an act of sorts, to sense. It is a performance, you know, right? The drama, like, you know, is staged. It is a performance, one that is imposed upon us by normative heterosexuality. So this is actually available in Performative Acts and Gender Constitution that was published in the year 1990. So I'm giving you know this uh, opening you know for discussing you know Indian writing in English, right? You 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 can you can think of you know this uh, development, you know, right? This development. And when when I, when I tell you know something about you know the stories, or from you know some graphic novels, right? I'll tell you, you know that is uh, the second part you know right I'm coming. Now, now the, the the serious phrase you know that is coming you know to one's mind is you know biological determinism, right? Or biologist, or bio determinism, right? So the idea is you know 
most human characteristics physical and mental right both physical most human characteristics physical and mental are determined at conception by hereditary or biological factors a very beautiful example of a biological determinist view is that so gedas and thompson you know right in 1889 they argued that social psychological and behavior behavioral traits were caused by metabolic state so this actually is available in uh, the book the evolution of sex women supposedly you know can so energy and this makes them passive conservative sluggish stable and uninterested in politics i'm not talking about the present day situation that is different actually this is the gradual growth you know that you find right earlier you know they were like women you know supposedly you know conserve energy and this makes them you know passive conservative sluggish stable and uninterested in politics the rest men they expand their surplus energy and this makes them ego energetic and passionate i know that you develop you know something in mind upon listening you know these words naturally you know that you 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 start your mind you know start i mean starts you know questioning right but this is something you know the growth right so men expand their surplus energy and this makes them ego energetic and passionate so these are all in the biological facts which were used to justify argument i told you already upon listening you know this uh, components you know that uh, for women and uh, men there is a possibility you know that you develop in you know, arguments of withholding the political rights of women no politically effective feminist theory requires ways to elucidate how and why patriarchy damages women so these two questions you know are very very important how and why patriarchy damages women and to articulate and defend feminism's uh, critical claims in order to justify this is very important its positive vision of equitable and sustaining human relationships so in response to biologically deterministic accounts that took bodily anatomy to determine all behavior psychological and socio political futures of women feminists during 1960s and 70s began using women differently not as a sex term but as a gender term right now we know that base is in order so being a woman and a man was no longer considered to depend on the kind of anatomy one has but on particular social and cultural factors this may be like one social position or the amount of masculinity and femininity one exhibits already you know i cited this in earlier uh, earlier see uh, i mean uh, the, the 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 i mean uh, feminist uh, idea of you know 1960s and 70s that is uh, woman not a sex term but as a gender term you know right now if you go beyond you know the word you know gender maybe simon de goa who claimed you know one is not born but rather becomes a woman right the claim and that social discrimination produces you know in women moral and intellectual efforts see that so profound that they appear to be caused by nature naturally you know right now you are getting you know the answer for you know why and how you know right uh, patriarchy you know actually 
controlled and all these people right no, but what actually they are having you know natural the moral and the intellectual effects you know right a slogan you know that often heard you know gender is a social interpretation of sexual sex captures the people right? now gender is alterable thought to be alterable by political and social reform right so that is what actually you know now going on they claim the right right claim the right and then asking for you know right that would ultimately bring an end to women's subordination now in in writing in english so you you find you know the same and the variables you know are many right maybe you know with sort uh, of span of time you know the can't be taken you know everything you know into serious discussion but uh, one or two you know that i am taking right so my my experience with you know this in the writing in english i i feel like you know that i experience i felt like you know these three representations right types of representations early women they played the role of mothers and they were in you know, traditional right simple from the writings you know right from the novels or uh, the drama or something like you know the creative arts new women after that they claim the rights i mean strong opposition right and women the third category you know women in post modern era right so they decide their life irrespective of their position and uh, they they actually started in you know, creating identities present day women right so not that you know uh, completely you know that uh, the other you know disappeared right still you know there are people right all the three categories you know right you can see now you can see you know in real situation geographical locations but uh, the west or you know there west or also there i can say you know the west or also there you know the north is is coming to the agenda now right in the writing in english through translations so i have you know uh, a serious point you know uh, telling to you and uh, researchers you know if you haven't uh, started or if you are working on uh, uh, translations you know particularly so the global climb you know is now getting strengthened you know right because of translations so i'll tell you know the northeast function and the northeast you know uh, you have you know war exploitation you know is the so it is coming you know a decade year old you know to the other end you know it is coming the south and the mid and the, the global situation translation actually you know helps the global climb you know bit uh, loud so the entire globe you know that translations are coming now and uh, women related issues are you know actually coming from all directions and it is getting stronger and stronger now this is very very important you know very seriously it should it should be viewed you know very seriously people are working on artists and writings that is true but it it should not be you know stopped with you know research alone you know it should be taken to the global arena the global climb and uh, we should discuss you know more of uh, women and their uh, i i don't want to use the word you know pain but uh, their their experience you know right painful experience right feminists you know they discuss you know more about it and women writers from uh, traditional india to post modern uh, india they narrate you know differing perception at different times and earlier you know that it is uh, indirect economic status and then their liberal thinking and you do not find much difference you know with diasporic indian women direct involvement in dealing with the economy and other global issues related to women see we think or uh, we assume you know sometimes sometimes we i think you know that we assume sometimes right that uh, the, the diasporic uh, writers you know that uh, they present you know the uh, economic status or something living status you know in different way and uh, people who are living here you know they are doing it you know say for example you know you can take you know anju kapoor and chitra banerjee divagran you know they are out 
will be you know direct uh, dealings and then indirect you know dealings like but uh, the focus on women you know right is you know more or less you know say the language you know different you know the narrative differences you know that you come across the narrative differences you know due to exposure right exposure they see you know uh, two different lands you know right native land and new land you know like the uh, the people who are living here you know they don't have exposure to uh, the new lands you know. so globe you know is very very i mean near now the entire globe you can reach you know any geographical situation you know that uh, uh, quick and view you know that uh, easy right so from the colonial uh, to the present situation in our know, recent times so uh, don't don't uh, actually keep away uh, the, the the previous thinking you know right the diasporic and uh, people who are here in you know, our differences so you you do have you know women you know of uh, types uh, women you know that image you know of subjugated and marginalized women right the image of rebellious women right the woman of liberated and emancipated women. new and modern image of woman you know traditional oppressive oppressive and sublime woman change in image of you know girl so chitravana ji divagarna you know that you find you come across with the construction or constructive uh, view of uh, the girl children right in short stories you know, especially change in the image of wife akena rains wife and uh, the present day novelists you know what they talk about or babani patacharya or uh mina alexander in you know, earlier and now changing image you know in the mother in law and daughter in law and the conversion in the image of mother and the image of uh, woman and you know, as as loyal friend there are uh, categories you know right there are more there are more and uh, the narratives you know also change with writers schedule you know, right? when when you have you know women and these are all available you know what i told earlier you know they are all available in uh, the creative writings of women now not the major even the minor minor right not that you know that only uh, uh, much discussed you know much much traveled uh, people alone you know writers alone you know carry you know these sort of women you know in the writings but no even uh, chetan bhagat you know that uh, he talks about you know women women in it you know, right women you know they are in call centers they are psychological you know and mind stress you know right mind stress you know right maybe you know i read recently you know mahesh mageshwita devi and uh, chetan bhagat you know right the women women in the hands of you know these people beautiful beautiful narratives you know such narratives we we should not you know we should not you know think you know right uh, these narrative writers you know they simply you know tell you know a story no it is a message you know a serious message and very seriously you know viewed and uh, uh, discussed or argued you know taking to uh, academic uh, forums and uh, you have types of narratives like uh, types of women and you have types of narratives and you have uh, graphic narratives out of these you know types of narratives so images and uh, art forms not that you uh, know it is uh, a recent development no yes sidwad you know is uh, he has been you know it has been you know living with us you know for decades seven seven decades more but uh, now it is coming to uh, a novel form you know right i i came across you know three days back you know that i came across uh, a beautiful uh, um, 
graphic narrative on uh, the life of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar. I mean, people uh, who listen, you know, can think of you know graphic narratives, you know, uh, dealing with uh, women, and also like people like B. R. Ambedkar, beautiful one, you know, reading uh, Bimayana, right? Bimayana, that is the title. And you can understand the language of the colors you know, used in the text uh, to gain you know, visual literacy, right? Beautiful one, right? So the purpose of using you know, graphic novels. So I take you know, one uh, graphic novel for uh, discussing you know, these two components, you know, right? gender and women, right? That's why you know, a small introduction, very essential, you know, I feel as a right. So the purpose of using you know, graphic novels is to combine images and text to actually engage you know, readers and uh, frame a narrative. So the artwork, you know, that is very important. Well, what do you find, what do you come across there in uh, graphic narrative is you know, this artwork, which is as important as the text in conveying the story to the reader. Maybe uh, I feel, you know, this graphic narrative very interesting because you need not spend more time on uh, uh, reading page after page. Rather, you know, that you can uh, uh, view, you know, the uh, visuals like, images like. And you also come across, you know, something, dialogue, the conversation, you know, right? Open, you know, boxes, you know, for messages. Character is there and uh, it is open there. And what is interesting in uh, this... Uh, Vimayana is uh, Parzan Gond art, you know, that is which, is, which is very rich with symbolism and metaphors. Maybe uh, you go, I mean, uh, the scholars, you know, can start, you know, uh, instead of big research, you know, for PhD, a small research, you know, is possible in you know, this area. I think, you know, that people started working, but I'm telling, you know, this. So the artwork is as important as the text. Which, which conveys, you know, the story to the reader, you know, easily. So the multi-modality is essential in promoting, you know, the kind of visual interest, you know, the graphic novel demands. So Bimayana, the graphic novel uses Pardan Gond art, you know, this is an exclusive art, you know, right? You can see, you know, there in the internet, you know, the cover page, right? And another uh, one of the another chief tools, you know, in this form of art is the use of color, right? So that's why, you know, I told you in the beginning, when you read, you know, uh, Bimayana, you understand, you know, the language of the colors used in the text, you know, to gain visual literacy, right? And uh, the graphic novel, you know, that uh, I have chosen, you know, today for discussion is uh, Dari. Are is uh, by Amruta Patil, right? Amruta Patil, right? A talented graphic novelist who is having, you know, exceptional talent in all this. And it is a lesbian graphic novel. Yes, even uh, in graphics, you know, right? Uh, the present day theme, you know, has been seriously, you know, taken for discussion, right? Lesbian connections, you know, or dealt. The reach is, you know, quick. When you read, you, 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 you get a feeling, and when you see, that is difference. That, that marks the difference, you know, huge difference, you know, right? So it is not, you know, Kari is not just a lesbian graphic novel, it is much more. We, we should not, you know, stop ourselves, our thinking, you know, to limited space. You should go beyond, you know, right? That's why, you know, that it carries, you know, this, this particular novel, you know, carries much more. And society, you know, is dealt society. It is a view of the kind of society, you know, we inhabit. Actually, this novel, you know, shows uh, the reader how this society presumes, you know, certain things and tries to shape us, you know, as human beings. So you are educated, right? You are educated. Just like, you know, I told you in the beginning that women were educated more. Educated, you know, to obey. To become a slave, you know, right? Those days. I'm not talking, you know, the Sunday situation. Right. But here, you know, in this novel, you come across, you know, a kind of society, right? Which, which presumes, you know, certain things and tries to shape us, you know, as human beings. And this 
graphic novel you know is uh, a yeah, deeply moving you know narrative centered around the search for self you know in this increasingly dominating society mired in difference and discrimination <laughs> society you know is biased showing you know what is it called uh, uh, differences you know to people you know who are different and uh, this 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 novel you know is also you know uh, telling you know something an indirect uh, view of uh, indirect view of uh, the emerging people right emerging people what makes one you know to uh, gain momentum what actually what are the things you know that are actually you know uh, supporting you know them you know to identify themselves right actually this is something you know uh self examining you know once you know right so you you are also part of that novel right you are also part of the novel so the story is set amidst you know a metropolitan city and uh, it it reads in a contemporary fashion unlike you know other lesbian depictions you know as in deepa mehta's you know fire or ismat chokats you know we have right both of these stories you know that fire and lighap you know right lighap you know these stories are mostly confined uh, uh, to the private sphere but kari as its story you know unfold in both the private as well as public spaces of the city you know uh, the thani you know is is so cautious about you know selecting the cosmopolitan situation why why you know that today is is so curious about you know choosing you know those spaces grown up cities you know right where where actually you know this lesbian life attitudes homosexual life attitudes are possible doesn't mean you know those are not available there in villages it's coming up you know it's coming up you know, because the heterosexual situation you know is not allowing people you know to live in peace the metas fire you know is something bold and ahead of its time you know a romantic drama burns dominant ideologies see that that's why you know fire it is it is actually you know killing it it is removing it you know it is removing you know from the base it should it should still you know that uh, yes the flavor is you know the so it it burns dominant ideologies around same sex desires with subtle references you know to mythology you know the story you know that fire fire is about radha and sita mythical characters but these characters you know are different you know both experience you know different types of life radha you know leaving her husband's family why the reason is you know that uh, radha you know failed to get in you know, her comfort finding fault you know was always you know there so many so many issues involved and she started you know searching you know what is it called love real love the love you know that she experienced uh, her husband's home you know is different failed to get so she leaves home and sita you know what happened differences of opinion as a result you know she slaughtered her husband Who also flat again? They started in you know, a new life. You know that this is Veda's fire. People upon seeing and coming across you know this concept you know that raise their brows and unable to digest sometimes, unable to uh, I mean accept it. But now you know that it is okay. That sort that sort of uh, I mean uh, uh, explanation you know that is uh, okay. subdue so uh kari you know is uh, actually is attempting to portray you know the live realities of homosexual women in a highly heterosexual society so this is something you know the dominating society that's why you know that uh, earlier you know we used to know the word dominate so while the graphic illustrations you know in a city alludes to a certain specific geography 
Hari could be, you know, situated in any place in the world. So that's why, actually, uh, this was translated. Okay, I, I have, you know, uh, a Malayalist experience, you know, right? A sexual workers experience, you know, to be actually uh, conveyed, you know, just to be conveyed. You know, maybe after some time, you know, if I get, you know, more time, you know, that I, I I'll be able to do it. Okay. So Khari could be, you know, situated in any place in the world. You know. It is not actually uh, here in uh, Indian context. Maybe, you know, this is a micro level and uh, it can be, you know, taken to the macro level, you know, right? That's why in you know, any global situation, you know, this can be placed. The evasiveness with which the question of sexual orientation is dealt with, especially, you know, in the beginning of the book, you know, right? which is quite like uh, Chaukats, you know, Chauka, I mean, uh, Chaudes, you know, Lihav. So the most important uh, example, you know, is Urdu writer, you know, Iswat, uh, I mean, Chaudi, whose who's, uh, Sashwari, you know, that it is in English, you know, it is called Quilt, which is, which is, you know, a test case for the state, you know, in regulating female same-sex desire, something that the attacks, you know, against fire to illustrate it, right? The Urdu writers, you know, uh, story, you know, is, became, you know, the subject of obscenity charges brought against, you know, the writer by the colonial British government in power at that time. Even now, you know, it is, uh, okay, very relevant. So that was written, you know, earlier and uh, British, you know, that the colonial British, you know, uh, I mean, and girl, you know, who witnesses the lesbian encounter between a rich Beham and the Beham servant woman. You know, right? Who watched it? You know, that is a young girl, you know, who witnessed, you know, this it happened, you know, there in front of uh, the girl. So image of the girl, you know, is there also involved. The story's ending, you know, is something different in different translated versions. You know, so many translations available and it is different. Has been read, you know, by feminist scholars as Chogat's, you know, quintessential feminist move because it refuses to specularize lesbian desire as one, I mean, uh, argues with it. So ours is, you know, Kari, you know, right? Whereas uh, Kari begins with the attempted double suicide of a pair of lovers. Our Pachagan is Kari and uh, her lover, Ruth. Kari and Ruth you now are separated by a series of events following the scene, you know, right? They started living together, but separated. It seems as though the entire novel is centered on Kari's you know, alienation in some sense after she is parted from Ruth. She finds herself alone in the heterosexual culture, right? Around her. And the internal turmoil of her separation from Ruth. Which is also narrated, you know, that strong, you know, that between man and woman, like husband and wife, like, you know, after living together, you know, for uh, a decade or so. And the inter uh, internal turmoil, you know, is there, you know, very strong, right? The internal turmoil after separation from Ruth, you know, set against this highly heterosexual culture, scape of the metropolitan city. That's why the Tani, you know, uh, choosing, you know, every time uh, for his uh, dramas, you know, background, plays background, Metropolitan city, Bangalore, Calcutta, Delhi, Mumbai. Okay. You do have, you know, that. So here, uh, heterosexuality and then uh, the lesbian attitude, you know, that uh, you, you, you can seriously, you know, view. So the naturalized and dominant nature of heterosexuality in our lives, you know, is evident in several parts of the book. Yes. When you, when you talk about, you know, the uh, lesbian attitude, you know, that uh, you should always, you know, uh, take, you know, the other for uh, a discussion, right? So that, you know, uh, the, the major component, you know, be displayed, you know, that very easily, right? 
But one that evidently stands out is an exchange between Hari and the two men. By friends, you know, of her roommates. And Sagarayan, you know, that uh, an unknown, you know, is living with, you know, the opposite sex. A woman, you know, is living, you know, with uh, by friends, you know, that is, two men. Now, what actually, you know, they urge, you know, right, upon living there, you know, they experience, you know, a different uh, life. They urge Kari, you know, to find a suitable man for herself. As they also say, you know, insist that eventually a woman needs, you know, a man and a man needs a woman. See that? This is also, you know, something, a guy, you know, power. And it is coming from, you know, one of the men. Two were living and they were by friends, her roommates. And they insist, you know, right? One of them, you know, insists. Eventually, a woman needs a man and a man needs a woman. And yet another incident, you know, there in the novel, you know, you see is, you know, when a character called Lazarus, you know, asks uh, Kari, you see is a proper lesbian, right? So this, this suspicion, you know, this doubt, you know, came to him, you know, because he understood, you know, that she came out of that situation. She came out of, you know, Ruth's presence. This question, you know, that seems almost okay to ask. Yes. Reflects the normalization of heterosexuality where non-heterosexual desire and behaviors are completely marginalized and practically erased. Present day situation, right? And uh, Lazarus' you know, attitude you know, is now revealed and uh, yes, society's uh, uh, views also you know, registered in you know, here, documented in you know, here by the writer. Professor Ayers, can you see the yes, speakers? Yes, yes. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, participants, there has been a net uh, disconnectivity in, from the speaker side. He will rejoin us automatically. The connection will be established automatically. Do not worry. Sir Baskaran, sir. Yes, sir. No, 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 no. no. I spoke. To, no, 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 no. Please, I spoke to him. You will be here in another two minutes. Don't He's there in the connection, sir. Okay, okay. Please uh, guide him. Help him. I request uh, Professor Baskaran, sir, can you switch on the video from your side?
professor baskaran sir you are given the admin rights so you can unmute and switch on the video from your side Yes, 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 come. Yes, sir. Please go ahead, sir. Okay, okay, this is okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Please go ahead. Okay, okay. I'm sorry, extremely sorry. You know that. Uh, sorry, viewers. Sorry, viewers. Okay. So this is actually, you know, uh, uh, Kari. Kari is an important revelation of how the city, which is supposed to be, you know, progressive and modern. Still continues to harbor, you know, a highly heterosexual understanding of society. She she uses the metaphor of suffocation in the smog city. You know, right? I told you that uh, the metropolitan metropolitan you know city ambience, as we assume and we think, you know, that uh, this sort of uh, uh, lesbian life situation or homosexual uh, life situation, you know, is is accepted and it is going, you know, strong like. At the other end, the domineering, you know, the highly heterosexual uh, society, you know, is trying to subdue always, remove, you know, always, and that's why uh, Patil, you know, uses the metaphor of suffocation in the smog city. Smog city, you know, that maybe you know you can treat it as inverted quotes. The metaphor seems emblematic of the unrest the character Kari experiences. And perhaps alludes the suffocating nature of the hetero normativity in this metropolitan city. Okay, this is actually you know killing you know the people who have you know a different uh, opinion or different you know lifestyle or uh, different uh, uh, thinking, right? You remove you know this uh, uh, lesbian uh, lesbian attitude or homosexual attitude, and if you go there, you know. Uh, having, uh, having you know, an, uh, 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 thinking you know, like different thinking, may not be you know that you are accepted you know there. You are accepted you know there. So above all, this novel you know leads to profound things you know to Malova through her constant search for her identity as a woman. Kari, Kari is you know rebellion against mainstream and the enforced concepts of femininity. The struggle to understand oneself in this culture of dominance is beautifully portrayed and stays, you know, with the reader. So, upon you people, you know, going through the text, you know, you understand uh, certainly, you know, the characters, you know, rebellious attitude, rebellious attitude against, you know, mainstream and enforced concepts of femininity. Okay, and uh, this this portrayal is, you know, well appreciated in a way. And you also understand, as I told you, you know that this actually, you know, raises, you know, to the level of, you know, global thinking. Right? This is a, a micro level, and it can be taken to the macro situation. Okay. And it makes, you know, the reader reflect on their position, you know, in society. I told you that uh, unminding, you know, the lesbian or uh, homosexual thinking. Suppose, you know, you are having, you know, a different uh, thinking, you know, and uh, uh, you are positioned, you know, that uh, you can uh, feel it, you know, it reflects, you know, right? And unconscious biases, you know, that they might harbor too. So the second thing is, you know, the friendship, you know, portrayed here, right? Friendship, you know, that is a constant theme in the novel, whether it is Kari reminiscing on her time, you know, spent with Ruth, or the beautiful present, you know, friendship, you know, that Angel and Kari, you know, she, other character, it makes, you know, a lasting impact on the reader, right? And uh, naturally, you know, it did on me, right? As a reader, you know, that I also, you know, felt, experience. This is something, you know, a lasting impact, you know, on the reader, right? On the part of the reader. I, I promised, you know, something earlier, you know, that uh, I'll tell, you know, that also. So Nalini Jamila, you know, a Malayali uh, sex worker, right, is widely known for her, you know, maiden, maiden book, you know, known for her maiden book, that is uh, the autobiography of the sex worker. Sorry, I am unable to read, you know, the Malayalam, you know, proper. As a result, you know, that I am giving the English translation, you know, of the work. 
the autobiography of a sex worker right who in her interview you know right well uh, revealing you know herself out and now you know they are uh, she is very strong you know having you know the companionship of you know one editor and writer and uh, a social activist you know like so jamila you know said uh, that men in kerala you know cannot be trusted very open you know that uh, she boldly you know talked about it. and uh, she told you know that uh, kerala you know you don't have any space for you know sex workers like uh, in mumbai you have in chennai you have in uh, uh, other uh, spaces you know that she cited in her uh, interview right uh, in kerala you know that uh, you don't find you know. that's why you know that people from kerala you know they move to uh, different states you know neighboring states they come to madurai they go to kanyakumari they go to bangalore likewise you know that uh, uh, she has given you know there in her interview uh they were uh, the, the yes the, the men in kerala you know cannot be trusted and that they were you know incapable of restricting themselves you know when it comes to expressing their sexuality there are uh, legal uh, sex centers you know across the world and even in india but kerala lacks one you know this is actually you know i'm quoting if this was in place sexual atrocities you know would not have happened or would have at least you know reduced she said she took you know the example of you know calcutta's uh, red light area that is available you know there in the autobiography uh so nachi you know right to so, uh, calcutta's uh, area and explain how its existence had made you know life safer for the rest of the women in the city see perception you know changes you know right changed changed entirely you know, right likewise you know the novel you know graphic novel you know that open you know something for it see the social landscape you know has been you know conditioned you know to look at women as a male factor while the men involved are let off you know easily and uh, i mean anita i mean sarida nair you know is also an example you know right you can take again you know from kerala and her questionable relationship you know with politician right these are all you know now coming up you know in indian context west you know that you forget but in indian context you know slowly it is coming and it is written you know overall right and i you know right and how you know the public sees her as the wrong doer and not you know the politicians you know right so so the entrance of the lesbian into indian culture also intervenes you know uh, in a changing public culture in which sex is marked differently from the previous decades right really you know that it is an eye opening it is actually you know getting into a, a new domain you know right indian writing in english so in drama you know that dathani made you know a opening you know that uh, identifying you know a third gender and also he has widely you know talked about you know uh, the uh, gender relations right on stage you know that he performed you know right while he was uh, uh critically you know interpreted you know earlier and people started you know observing you know after uh, yes his his repeated uh, entries you know on stage and as a result you know that uh, uh, that uh, people slowly you know accepting it and everyone you know is coming out coming you know in support of uh, dathani now he, he has actually you know identified you know a space like likewise from the regional uh, uh situation you know right they are climbing you know women you know they are climbing you know that status where women you know they are climbing the rights and they they identified you know something uh themselves and this actually the entrance of the lesbian into indian culture also intervenes in a changing public culture in which sex is marked differently from the previous decades so the rising consumer class of the 80s and 90s and the economic liberalization of the 90s so actually a sit in attitudes you know to sexuality the scholars theorize that the new woman who emerged during the period signified by and celebrated for her sexual overtness marks their departure from previous decades in which she is known and prized for sexual conservativeness ironically however
So there Sir? is a break in the connection. Can rejoin. Yeah, yeah. Our speaker will rejoin automatically. Yes, yes, yes. Please, please. I know that you can keep in mind. Sir, please, please reconnecting. Uh, our speaker is getting reconnected. Ma'am, no, please unmute. Sir, unmute your mic. Can you unmute yourself? Un unmute. Ah, yes. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. So, right. Am I am I audible? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. So, writers, you know, they belong to Northeast India, you know, like uh, Tim Sulao and Mamang Dal, you know, Mamang Dai, and uh, Udipana Goswami, uh, Easter, you know, Kiru Iralu, Anjum Hazan, right? Anjum Hazan. They have registered a significant mark on the Indian English literary scene about such experience. Those children, you know, were not, you know, encouraged for schooling, you know, right? I told you, in my own experience, you know, during 1960s, you know, late 60s, that uh, uh, that they weren't, you know, encouraged. Even a teacher who uh, was unable to put, you know, the child, you know, the girl child, you know, there in class, there in a school, right? That was, you know, that uh, I understood, you know, from my experience. There in uh, the northeast region, girl children, you know, weren't allowed. Even they are not allowed, you know, even now, even now. That such a scene, you know, is in existence. You can take, you know, Mageshwata Devi, right? Uh, Dokti, you know, right? Dokti. Uh, Draupadi, you know, that it is. Dokti is an excellent activist who stands against lands, landlords' oppression, you know, right? State officials who are on the side of the oppressors succeed to apprehend, you know, Dokti at the end of the story. She is gang raped. When she is asked to wash and clothe herself to go to Senanoik's uh, Ten, she insists on going naked. Since you know that uh, people are becoming you know bold, right? And uh, the early woman, you know that you cannot you know compare with present day situation, right? Change you know is 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 everywhere. And she turns you know the terrible wounds of her breast into a counter offensive and makes you know the shattering entry into the patriarchal hegemonic you know structure, right? So in uh, behind the bodies again. Another uh, story by Navageshwata you know, Devi. Ganger crowd comes to Joraya for work. Upin, you know, a photographer takes her photo when she is feeding a baby. He uses, you know, ganger to make money and fame. Upin, you know, gets upset with the idea of gangers, you know, breasts and thinks that they are uh, endangered. And uh, his photograph, his photography, Make sure you know the object, you know, object, you know, within double quotes of police attention. Policeman gang rape her, knowing this, her people ostracize her. She has no option but to take, you know, to prostitution. She pays the price for Rupin's, you know, senseless obsession. In the end, what happened, you know? She takes off her bodies, you know, to reveal the horror of tragedy perpetuated to her by policemen. So this is also, you know, right, the notable uh, record, you know, that you can keep, you know, the uh, coming up change. Translations, you know, that are made. Translations. Both the stories, the body, the site of victimization becomes a site of terrorizing, you know, the pressure. And uh, Adrian Rich, you know, quotation, you know, that uh, I would like to, I mean, register here. In our human born, female biology has far more radical implications than we have yet come to appreciate. Patriarch patriarchal, I mean, thought has limited female biology to its own narrow specifications. It will, I believe, come to view our physicality as a resource rather than, you know, a destiny. So, Alain Solwater, so all that, you know, in a book, you know, they uh, recorded this. And I told you already, you know, that there is a possibility, you know, of comparing, you know, right, uh, uh, what, you know, people already, Chetan Bhagat, you know, with that of, you know, the women. And uh, modern Indian literature has, you know, gender dynamics. 
in making society aware of women's demands and creating a pedestal to etch their self-expression. The gender dynamics were eclipsed as women writers presumed to write within the enclosed domestic space and women's perception of their experience within it and therefore rank below the words of male war writers to deal with wider themes. This can be, you know, easily removed and people are trying women in most cases and uh, years are, you know, coming and writers, you know, are coming. Young budding writers, you know, are uh, coming across the globe, across India, across the states, and translations would certainly, you know, support, you know, these people, you know, to reach the global situation. The genuinity and authenticity, you know, that are uh, very much, you know, strongly available. As in the case of the translators also, I mean. So, the experience of the writers, you know, that are uh, converted into autobiographies, as in the case of uh, the female sex worker, they're from, you know, Kerala, the autobiography of a sexual worker where she has given, you know, multiple uh, details of her experience and uh, that are actually, you know, our messages. And these messages, you know, taken, viewed, I don't want to use the word, you know, interpreted, viewed, and are taken, you know, further for change. Change in the mind of the people. Irrespective of, you know, the change. Am I okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Please go ahead, sir. So that is actually, you know, the end, you know, that uh, I had in mind. So, so you find, you know, the exploitation, you know, in uh, different forms, you know, that is uh, one I talked about, you know, that is uh, sexual and uh, war exploitation, you know, that uh, I already, you know, told you that actually, you know, is happening in Northeast. And uh, those are all, you know, actually available in writers, uh, I mean, perception novels, interviews that are actually, you know, sources for change in society or uh, that will actually, you know, make uh, the balance, you know, right, the balance between uh, heterosexual and uh, the other thinking. So I'm using the other, you know, where you can show up. Doesn't mean, you know, that one is, you know, removed and other is, you know, emerging. That is a very rare, you know, possibility, right? that uh, thinking, you know, there in one's mind, you know, that can't be, you know, that easily, you know, removed. So as it has become, you know, habit to some, habit, you know, habit, you know, can't be, you know, killed. But habit, you know, is there in one side. Right? But we should uh, portray women and we should, uh, I mean, uh, seriously, you know, treat uh, uh, people, you know, equal, very seriously. Right? The right is, you know, possible. Right is, you know, possible. Thank you. Thank you, Ramasubhaya. Thank you, Marx, and uh, thank you so much uh, for giving, you know, a warm introduction about uh, me, you know, by my sister, Debria. And I thank, you know, once again, you know, the secretary of the college and uh, the domains of, you know, the universities, both the uh, University of Madras and uh, Mother Teresa University. I also thank uh, my good friend, uh, Dayala Krishnan, for uh, contributing, you know, from his side, Society for Literature and Culture. Thanks, you know, Prabha. Thank you so much, uh, the other end people, you know, southern end people, you know, who are actually in the dais. Thank you so much. Thank you, Anand. Thank you so much. Professor Ayer, sir, uh, our moderator's connection is uh, disconnected. Yeah, I'm calling him. Please, 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 please wait for a minute. Sir? Yes, sir, I spoke to her and she's, uh, she's getting connected now. Wait for a minute. Okay, sir. Wait, wait for a minute. Okay. Dear participants, we have to wait for the moderator to join us. Uh, the chat no, it is, no, I the... understand, and I understand Marx, and then I understand that it is raining heavily in Kodaikanal. So natural, it is natural. Uh, this uh, technical interruption is natural, and she'll be back here in another two minutes.
connects. She's getting connected. So we are trying our best you now to give them, uh, give the participants, you know, the best uh, performance from uh, all the sites. But unfortunately, uh, so far she has been with this. Sir, our moderator joined in. The chat box is open to all now. Participants can directly pose the questions by choosing everyone. Has, uh, has Madam joined? Has Madam joined? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Or else Ram Shubhu, you know, ask you know the participants, you know, to send you know the questions to my mail ID. Yes, no, they have no, they have sent a lot of questions. No, no, no. They have sent a lot of questions. Madam will ask you now. And uh, just two minutes. She has, yeah. she has locked in. I'll wait, I'll wait. And, no problem. Uh, she has come. She has come. She has to uh, unmute her mic. Priya, madam, you please unmute your mic and shoot questions. Otherwise, uh, the, uh, Jeffrey, madam, can you hear us? You are connected, ma'am. Uh, the permission is given to you. You can unmute yourself. Okay, no, Jeffrey, uh, the uh, team from the technical team, you please send the questions to me. I let me so let me ask uh, uh, the resource person. Can you please send me the direct me the questions? You please direct the me, questions me to me then, so that. Give me thirty seconds. Yes, yes. Sir, we'll take few questions, sir. Three or four questions. Yeah. Some some significant yeah, yeah. questions. Yeah. Sir, one question I'll ask you, sir. Okay. This this is uh, from Priya Dasmi uh, from uh, Mana College. And she raised this question. Does gender equality exist in reality? Does gender equality exist in reality or only in language? How critical is the gender equality and women the, empowerment? The answer is, you know, the answer is, you know, very much available, you know, there. So unless, you know, we change, you know, that uh, there is no possibility and it is alive, you know, very much, you know, there in writings, language. So the acceptance, you know, takes some time, you know, right, to change uh, the attitude of the people. Uh, about about equality, you know that uh, yes, uh, even you know that you can take me. I don't you know I'm comfortable, right? If I'm comfortable, that means you know the equality, you know, is very much you know strong. So if there is a bit of uh, lack in comfort, and if you are unable to express, if you are unable to perform, that means you know you can understand it is easy. So only in languages, you know, only in written documents, you know that uh, yes. The equality, you know, is available now at present moment, but it is changing. the The attitude of uh, the people, you know, is 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 slowly, closely, you know, slowly, you know, changing. That's what you know that I can say because uh, as the novels, you know, that you read, where also you know that earlier, you know, you don't have, uh, I mean, the writers, you know, speaking about in laws, but now you know the present day situation, mother in law and daughter in law, you know, they, they are also you know equally portrayed. So that means, you know, the change has come and the equality, you know, is coming in our school. So that's what, you know, that I can say now. And uh, uh, with moderator's permission, let me ask this uh, one more question uh, from the same uh, uh, participant. What constitutes empowerment, autonomy and responsibility? What? Constitutes, constitutes, constitutes. Ah. What ah. constitutes empowerment, Autonomy and responsibility. <laughs> it is actually, you know, a psychologist, you know, can answer, you know, better than me. 
the so teacher what i can say is you know autonomy you know is uh, yes when someone is sanctioning autonomy and one you know taking autonomy you know that is there so if you if you take you know autonomy in your hands you know that uh, your performance you know how it would be and someone is you know acting you know and saying you know that you are you are free to do anything you know that means a guy you know that you are uh, indirectly you know restricted right so you are you are you are directed you know by someone so if you take you know autonomy and uh, pleasure doing it you know right in your, your own way your performance you know would be something like so a psychiatrist or a psychologist a person who knows you know psychology better you know can answer you know with uh, this question you know better way but i think you know as a teacher you know that i made it you know a bit thank you sir thank you sir over to madam thank you subhu for uh... you know like uh, helping me out in the situation it's so okay. sorry for uh, sorry for the interruption and what happened in between so this uh, there's a question from uh, mrida smita what according to you sir is the prime reason for the stigma for women space in our society women's space women's space in our society space yeah space. northeast northeast you know that is so i'm actually yes, you know listening Half only know that I am able to listen. No, Not the East, you know. Not the Eastern states. No, no. She is talking about the no. stigma. stigma. Stigma of women's space. Stigma of women's space in our society. <laughs> yes. So, to my understanding and knowledge, you know that uh, uh, this is this is uh, very very. I mean, uh, simple, right? You know, instead of me speaking, if. Uh, uh jevri i know that did this you know topic right that would be you know something you know very very uh clear so uh, that i started you know that way right so we we concentrate now on you know right people uh, uh belonging to that particular uh, space you know that i told you that very open you know right when uh, dalit you know speaking about you know dalit situation and uh, the homosexuals you know that they speak about it a transgender you know that comes and then speaks about you know that situation that would be you know something very authentic and very very specific you know it becomes so the the stigma you know is 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 there the 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 the, the social uh, uh, contribution you know is 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 very much you know alive you know with uh, the individual you know as woman is you know concerned right any a uh, single you know that any a woman you know that uh, comes you know that and uh, society is also there you you cannot you know evade or you cannot just you know disappear or you cannot you know escape so that is the way you know that our uh, system you know is constructed right structured you know like thank you sir and there's a question from sangeeta there were times when women were considered to be weaker sex but now indian writers like mahesh dattani presents women in superior position for example in his play dance like a man and what are your views on it how do you think uh, the growth and the position of women in the present society that is great you know right i told you right uh, in the case of you know kari and uh, in the case of you know i mean any a woman you know portrayed there in uh, uh, dattani's writings or any any writings you know right they are actually you know raising to the occasion the women you know that not that you know earlier it was so earlier you know i told you that uh, in the beginning you know i told you that they were educated so and uh, men were in you know educated so women were educated you know to act as slaves but today situation you know that uh, no such education you know that are offered now present day education is you know equal to everyone even you know parents you know that they cannot uh, they should not you know right they should not you know advise they can just you know live their life and children can watch them you know living and that is the way you know that they can uh, get into a social structure right so you are right you know the question is you know very apt and very right you know that it is uh, not you now that one once for all you know get rid of that concept you know that uh, women are you know women were treated you know uh, i mean weaker sexes you know earlier that is dead and gone you know that concept you need not worry about you know taking a guy you know there since we have changed you know, that is we have changed a lot and that thinking you know that should be removed right that perception you know when you even when you read you know such texts you can see you know also you know the other so such a thinking was done you know 
used, utilized earlier. And uh, we as uh, receivers, readers, we should take, you know, that such, to, such things, you know, such narratives, you know, should be taken away, should be get rid of, you know, from the social situation. That is the right attitude, you know, right you can take. Yes, sir. Thank you. And what reforms we need to bring in literature to support feminism and gender inclusion? Reforms, uh, yes. Maybe you know that uh, already you know that we have uh, academicians you know that uh, we have, I mean, uh, introduced you know that slavi is you know right. So you have uh, women writing. You have uh, women related you know components you know in uh, almost you know every paper. Actually you know that uh, BOS you know is conducted and uh, when you analyze you know a paper you know that. Uh, you search for, you know, room and space, you know, for uh, the balance. I mean, uh, people from all countries, irrespective of, you know, the gender, right? So, uh, even award-winning writers, you know, that their paper is, you know, framed, you know, that means, you know, where women are actually, you know, given the roles. Yes, I mean, uh, that is that is happening now, you know, right? Empowerment, you know, right? So that is that is also you know thought of right very seriously you know right that question is you know very apt you know I can say that we are giving you know space everyone we in the sense you know not me the board the board you know where you come across everyone see um, Ma'am Jaipriya you know is everywhere you know right now and all people you know right irrespective of the gender you know they they all come and then forget the gender and then you know they act so they they even if someone you know forget. They just remind, you know, that why should not, you know, we include like, you know, this. So, likewise, you know, it is coming. The earlier, you know, Mageshwata Devi was uh, not in any, I mean, uh, paper. But now, you know, that uh, this day, and uh, Nathis people, you know, they are coming. Nathis and writing, you know, is something, you know, a special paper now, where uh, women writers, you know, were uh, included. So, that is coming. So, coming up, you know, racing to that occasion. Empowerment, you know, not in uh, word, not in document, not in uh, legal uh, files, but it is uh, very strong in uh, action. That is true. Yes, sir. And there is one important question from uh, uh, Manoj Thakur, I, I guess from Jainaga. Feminism protests against exclusion of female, female experience and not being considered equal human beings. But... There are many texts where it is silent about the suffering of fellow men and focus only on women. What does you take uh, uh, you take on this tendency in feminism, sir? Uh, I am sorry, extremely that uh, I have you know few more uh, I mean uh, ideas to be discussed, but the want of time you know that I stopped where I included you know this remark. So there is a space. That's what you know I told you that a balance should be you know reached. Right. When a heterosexual situation and then these sort of, you know, the other situation, it's, you know, they are reaching, you know, the balance. Ultimately, you know, that, uh, yes, that balance, you know, easily achieved. No need to, you know, uh, discuss, you know, separate and then no need to climb or uh, ask for, you know, the rights, you know, the other side. Silence, you know, is, is not at all actually, you know, a serious uh, impact nowadays. Everyone's, you know, voice is heard. Say my voice, your voice, other voice. Far distance, you know, that is. So the globe has become, you know, a small one where everyone's voice is, you know, recorded and uh, balance, you know, is reached. So need not think about, you know, that. But anyhow, you know, that thanks for, you know, raising that question. It is there, you know, in my, I mean, paper. Right. That is actually, you know, a fine one. You know, that not that, you know, they are silenced. They are actually, you know, that women are discussed because, you know, earlier they were ignored. Right. They weren't treated at all. I mean, as equals, but now they are coming to that occasion and we are actually, you know, welcoming. Doesn't mean, you know, that we are actually, you know, that uh, neglected. No. This is also, you know, that, right? we are also, you know, together, you know, that we perform. Together, you know, we act. Together, you know, that we travel. So, don't go for, you know, such uh, thinking. It is coming up. Thank you, Thank sir. You. Thank you. Thank yeah. you, for Thakur, you know, for that question. <laughs> Ah, so, what is your opinion on the role played by <clears throat> Ambedkar on women empowerment, gender equality, and social equality? 
that is also you know <laughs> right for sin since i myself you know talked about you know a uh, uh, graphic uh, i mean uh, writing vimayana uh, right mm-hmm. so without him you know that uh, you can't you know think imagine of you know women or uh, humanity right so he has actually you know framed you know something the other day and we are actually you know following it you know with the uh, minor changes right so he has actually you know taught much right so we are actually you know doing little academicians you know that we are doing you know little long back you know when situation was not cordial i mean he worked and then he actually you know dreamt of a situation and you know are coming alive now that's why you know i can see you know express right so those situations you know are coming alive now he dreamt earlier and all his dreamings you know dreamings dreams you know everything coming to reality and it is uh, possible you know right it is possible right that's what you know that i can uh, say now right about uh, ambedkar's you know contribution to women empowerment and other things so yes yes genuine attempts you know of keeping you know humanity alive you know that is humanity where he yes equally you know talked about you know both so he framed and then he is not you know that uh, uh, one side right he is not one side he, he has actually done it you know for the entire humanity uh, to live in peace so that's the way you know that we love to look into and he has talked about lot and uh, his dreams are becoming real now right that's what you know i can say thank you thank you sir so the perception is that feminism or women's writing all of these have women at the center of their narratives is feminism always confined to gender again you know that it is uh, gender you know that i actually you know uh, look beyond you know right beyond gender you know right so feminism you know that i keep you know for uh, uh, some other purpose but uh, gender is you know something and really you know a different one right so we we cannot uh, or uh, simply you know that you can uh, simply say you know that we cannot club you know these two uh, components you know right concepts feminism you know is something unique right it is i guess it is growing you know in its own independent way and gender you know that it is actually you know coming up area right uh, and that's why you know i use the word you know beyond gender right and that is my view that's my view you know that i can say and uh, earlier you know uh, in uh, 19 uh, uh, early early 90s you know that i can say uh, i attended you know uh, the conference you know organized by tamil department ldc college already to college it was you know only one you know uh, feminism you know by then only one feminism but now you have uh, multiple right different so that means you know it is growing you know independently in its own form it is it has its own branches gender you know that is a, 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 a different one and uh, it is growing that's what you know i can say thank you thank you sir so there is a question from pravina in the post modern context are women portrayed in an authentic way or a prejudiced notion of the writer are they truly liberated it is uh, debatable and uh, as uh, professor ravichandran you know the other day actually you know uh, he, he has done you know something you know a great one and made people you know understand postmodernism in a easy way and towards the end you know he <laughs> concluded there is no answer right we all remember you know that so postmodernism you know is something different you know where you cannot uh, get you know answers the questions you know that you can uh, develop you can uh, multiple questions and uh, he talked about you know so many things other day and uh, yes here also i know that uh, i don't have answer really i'm sorry uh and sir that uh, yeah. you know, it is it is it is it is there suppose you know you read you know um uh, a novel you know which which is which is not you know coming under you know the theoretical uh, concept of you know postmodernism if you take where women are portrayed right genuinely authentically yes that their experience you know or they but when you i mean read a text you know under the banner you know postmodernism sorry i don't have an answer thank you so does feminist theory today treat the notion of woman as a discursive construction what construction discursive discursive okay. construction d i s you mean you know that about there is you know that 
theories you know that you are talking yes sir feminist theories feminist theories okay uh, very interesting so to my knowledge again you know that i can say is uh maybe you know better you can answer you know that question since you know you come across you know live you know from the session i think you know that uh, yes so multiple uh, theories and uh, one of the theories you know that uh, we can uh, i mean uh, find out which comes you know very close to this concept and uh, uh, i i i sorry you know that i don't have really you know an answer but i cannot cook up i'm sorry maybe you know that you answer you know that uh, question if you have i think you know that you can do better any of but there is one more thank you anna for that but there is one more question where uh, we really have to debate on it because uh, i don't go with the question actually and she has asked women were portrayed as goddesses in mythologies then why the scenario is changing day by day and created a bad impression even so many feminists struggled for revolution will it happen in near future right that's what you know that i quoted you know uh, i mean uh, a very interesting one you know the i mean uh, mythos and fire where actually you know she used uh, radha and uh, sita you know right mythical characters so real you know in real uh, mythical uh, i mean uh, situations you know they played that role those days you know in that environment you know that was accepted and uh, people actually you know that uh, carry over for nearly you know uh, decades you know right uh, that stories you know right and that characters you know they thought they assumed you know they are all uh, real characters right but we academicians you know know right that they all created right and uh, we cannot question you know that either uh, mythology or uh, something you know religion you know and uh, there is uh, we cannot blame it also but uh, we are actually you know that giving you know a new connotation right new meaning you know that to that situation and we start you know raising you know questions right so here uh, uh, you if you are if you ask you know a question like you know had uh, they lived now right such characters you know in reality you know they live with same uh, temperament so how do you i mean how do we people you know look at them see we certainly you know look at them you know with uh, the other eyes maybe you know that uh, you feel you know that they are actually you know treated as uh, outcast like right they are not fit to that society they may not be i mean able to live or uh, sustain their life situation you know now so all all these things you know are involved in the present day even uh, a girl child you know carrying the name of you know radha or sita that uh, they, they 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 cannot you know live uh, according to i mean to their name shake you know right name you know carrying the name and having you know that quality you know that you cannot expect so present day situation you know allows uh, children you know to live life you know according to the environment according to that uh, social structures that is the way you know that we can take it right and uh, the same cannot be you know really maybe within four walls you know that uh, you close your eyes and then you live but when you come out of uh, your uh, situation you see you know the entire vast uh, i mean the globe you know is changed and change you know is not uh, normal way in multitudes the again you know ravichandran you know other day quoted you know that uh, gregor uh, samsa you know coming out of you know his room you know right as a cockroach as a bug right suddenly you know that he sees you know something different and others also you know view different no sita or no radha or no of Professor, here is sir. Can yeah, you? Yeah, I understand. I understand. Wait, wait a minute. Let him come. Yes, sir. Please. Ah, that's all. Okay. Okay. Unfortunately, the moderators, moderators line also got disconnected. I'm extremely okay, sorry. Okay. 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 So that happened to me also. I'm sorry. Extremely, you know, twice, you know, that uh, was cut. 
yes yes and uh, as one of the amazing secretaries i uh, no tender my sincere apology to all the participants due to the technical snags and uh, we try our best but no other go uh, it's something uh, which we cannot avoid it so uh, uh, with this uh, and then uh, we thank you so much and uh, on behalf of the organizing team we extend our sincere thanks to you for accepting our invitation and giving us an enlightening talk, enlightening talk on uh, indian writing in english and uh, the gender issues thank you and then thank you so much uh, thank you thank you, thank you ramasubu and thank you marks and thank you everyone you know behind the scene especially you know the technical team you know that i should thank and again you know i thank you know the secretary mayana yes. yes. for giving you know a nice platform you know today and i enjoy doing it i'm sorry whether i have expected your uh, i mean uh, i mean fulfilled your expectation but i did you know something you know that uh, for uh, the entire mass maybe few more ideas you know that i have but want of time you know that i stop thank you thank you thank so you. much thank and you and it is a pleasure thank doing you. again you know in case you know the future if it rises thank, thank you thank you thank you sir and uh, dear participants uh, there is no announcement from our side please go and have lunch and come back uh, exactly at 2:45 or 2:50 and we have a post lunch session and um, uh, even uh, the speaker uh, even now uh, he is available and uh, let us meet at 440 uh, 240 and the exact will start at 3 o'clock thank you so much we'll meet in the afternoon session thank you so much thank you all